came up on a big ass bear. I mean, a huge bear. It's a morel. Well, it's gonna make it. And children, don't do this. This is very dangerous. Yeller. <laughs> I'm putting that in the video. Amazing, you guys. Hey, what's up everybody? So we are in Issaquah, Washington right now, and this is a beautiful area in Washington. I'm about to head over to Eastern Washington though, so we're on another little road trip here, and just gonna camp out in the car. I got some family that are over there camping out as well, celebrating some birthday stuff, so happy birthday, Ruth, love ya. And um, yeah, we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. There's a lot of cool rocks, minerals over there, hikes, adventures, stuff to see. Uh, but right now I gotta feed Otter and go into Safeway here, pick up some supplies and some water and the basics that I need and then we will go get in some trouble. Let's go. Alright guys, so I am getting ready to take off here but I thought real fast I would share with you some of my favorite adventure snacks. <laughs> First up, you gotta have some purple whatevers or green whatevers. A giant ass cucumber. Usually I get the little tiny ones that come in those little bags. So bomb. And then I literally take the cucumber get like some hummus and so if you're like a vegan or something this is a good snack for you too and or vegetarian or something like that but if you're not and you're just trying to eat healthier ah, bomb so I got like four of these a big ass thing of hummus and then the other thing that's really good this one right here is a guacamole and so you just dip that in there Bomb. I'm telling you, it's so good. Great little snack. Then I got my chips and my water and my, you know, more substantial foods as well. But these are some of my favorite just adventure snacks. Grapes, cherries, that kind of thing. But I've been really digging the cucumbers. Like I said, usually I get the little ones. And then just dip them in here. But they were all bad in the safe way. They weren't very good, so... I went with the bigger guys, and these were on sale for like a dollar each, so I got, grabbed like four of them. Otter just had a bunch of food. I got my snacks. We gotta start driving because we need to get there before it gets dark, so I can even find the base that everybody's camping at. The campsite, not the base. So I got a ways to go, and yeah. So if I see anything cool, I'll stop and show you guys. All right, let's go. Currently on I-90 headed east through the pass, you guys, and I gotta say, if you have never just driven this, you might as well just drive it one of these days because it's so freaking beautiful. I love it so much. I'm gonna pull over here and go to the rest area, but it's so nice out here and it's worth checking out for sure. All right, guys, so I got off on the Bullfrog Road exit and I took that and I lost service right away, so... I'm unable to get a hold of my sister and brother because they were in town and I was gonna meet up with them and go find the camping spot that they're at. So I'm kind of driving through uh, the Cleelum area right now, like the town of it, trying to find service so I can get a hold of them. If not, we're just gonna have to wing it and drive out to the general area where I believe they're at and try to find them tonight. And if I can't find them, then Otter and I will just camp out, find a place to camp for the night, and then I'll look in the morning. But more than likely, I'll be able to find them. It is late though, it's getting very late and the sun is gonna be going down. So hopefully I can find some service soon. Cute little town for sure. Um, not really much to see, but such is the way of cute little towns, right? Uh, Alright guys, good news. I got a hold of my little camping crew and uh, I got service for just a moment and they were, they're like, okay, we're still in town, meet us at the bridge. So all I have to do is wait at a bridge and then follow them into the spot, which is so good because they also sent me a little GPS screenshot and where they're at is on the whole opposite side of where I was thinking they're at. So more than likely, I wouldn't have been able to find them. So that I'm really thankful that just worked out like it did. So, yes. Check it out, people. Really cool river. Just kicking on this bridge right here. Really beautiful. 
Got a bunch of people camping out here. Super awesome, huh? Ah, smells like campfire and fresh mountain air. Yes. Okay guys, so step one of this challenge is complete, which is meeting up with my little camping crew here. But the problem here is that they're telling me that this road is super hard to get through to the point where uh, my brother has to get out of the car just so this little car that's in front of us, I think it's a Nissan, can get through and get over all these big old bumps that are up here. So we'll see how extreme it is. I got four by four and I'm in a 2005 Kia Sportage that seems to do great out here with all these potholes and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see, we'll see what they're really talking about. the spot okay so my brother gets out so they can get through this craziness huh oh I see <laughs> yeah, there we go he's just gonna ride it through <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see but he's on the back okay We are definitely off-road in here. <laughs> oh, he's just riding on the... <laughs> oh, man. You guys, do as I say, not as I do. And children, don't do this. This is very dangerous. Don't ride on the car in the back of this. Yeah, they really... They really went far out here. This is nuts. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, we made it, you guys. And my little brother made it too. He's not dead. We rode the car all the way back. Victory. All right. Hey, this looks like a sweet little spot. All right guys, so right now I'm kind of just walking up here, looking around, figuring out where I want to park the car to sleep for the night, or two nights maybe, we'll see. Um, but it is beautiful out here. You can hear the birds in the background cheeping, chirping, cheep and chirp. The lake is just gorgeous. Got the full moon out as well. Beautiful view. Guys, look how beautiful this is. It's moments like these I treasure and adore, absolutely love. So this is pointed east as well. So that means in the morning, the sun is gonna come up and it is gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna try to wake up. Um, I don't know when is sunrise and I don't have internet out here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess and I'm gonna try to set my alarm and wake up and come get you guys some of the shots of the sunrise because this is breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. Anyways, I gotta go find a place for my car before it gets dark. <laughs> you guys, look at Otter and his crew! These are his friends. There's Molly, Bullet, and Jelly Beans over there. <laughs> look at them. They just jumped all over him. Now they're kicking it, having a good time. All right, guys, I'm getting everything leveled off here. I dug a little hole here and here, so my car will sit somewhat level. And now I gotta open everything up so I can lay my bed back in there. 
Okay guys, so this is the setup. Otter, back, stay, stay, good boy. I found two blankets that were inside of his kennel right here. So I put them down to kind of like make this a little bit more flat. And so I'm gonna lay right here and I got some coats for a pillow and then another coat I can use as a blanket. And then let me show you once I'm in here. Okay, so I can just lay like this. This for a blanket. That should work. Makeshift. Get me by. It's not too pretty. It's not too comfortable. But hey, whatever. I didn't have to pack a tent and I could just show up. Everything I got going on is... Got some toilet paper. Got some baby wipes. Dug an emergency hole out there. Got uh, my mother's lucky machete. Super sharp and nice. Name that movie in the comments below if you know what... That, that's from this is my mother's lucky machete and down here I got a crowbar so I'm ready for just about any hand-to-hand -hand combat you never know you know you might get attacked by ninjas otter what do you think of those ninjas and otter has his food and water down there and I got a bunch of snacks so so we're gonna have a good night it's gonna be nice and comfortable and chill well maybe not all that but it's, it's going to get the job done. I'll get some sleep, hopefully. That way I can go and uh, get you guys some good footage tomorrow. But anyways, I'm going to go and uh, visit and let Otter play with these dogs and eat a little bit. And then um, I'll see you guys in a little bit, okay? It's like two in the morning or something. I'm gonna crash out now. Got little otter here, all comfortable. Try to wake up in time to catch a sunset or a sunrise, and uh, hopefully, um, hopefully I can wake up. I don't even know when it comes up. So, yeah, I'll guess. Good boy, otter. Good boy. Look at him. He's so ready. He wants to go to bed. You want to go to bed? Dave, do you want to go to bed? Good boy, good boy, good boy. All right, all right, guys. So we did not wake up in time to be able to catch the sunrise, but that's okay. It's, 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 it's all good. It's okay. There's a lot of sunrises out there to catch. We just missed this one. But, um, so I'm going to get up, brush my teeth, maybe do some light working out and stretching and enjoy the sun here for a minute. And then we're going to go out and see what kind of trouble we can get into what kind of adventures we can have in this area it's absolutely beautiful super gorgeous I mean, the lake is amazing so i think i should jump down in the lake at some point too and uh, kind of scrub off also you guys but so nice cool little snake huh All right guys, so we were fishing for a while, but none of us had any luck. We got a few bites, but it's not the best time of the day for some fishing anyway. So I think we're gonna go into the woods and see if we can't find some mushrooms and just kind of explore the woods a little bit more in this area. And uh, just spending time with family today, uh, celebrating my little sister Ruth's birthday, as I mentioned before. So um, more family stuff today, then they're taking off. And tomorrow I'll probably go to one of these big hikes or lakes around here and see what kind of trouble we can get into.
explore it. deep this is you guys I don't even know what this type of plant is so if you know please leave it in the comments below the name of it it's got these little flowers on here but it's really beautiful out here it's just a ground cover that's covering everything I think I see some mushrooms Check this out, you guys. It's a morel. I mean, we still gotta break it open and verify it, but that is a big, beautiful mushroom. And awesome find. Good job, Bethel. My niece found it. Well done, Bethel. You rock. All right, guys, we're getting out of the forest right now just because we just came up on a big ass bear. I mean, a huge bear. And uh, me and my brother, B, were walking through the woods and he was off straight ahead of me and off to the off to my left and otter kept barking he was like looking up and he was like his, his ears were all alert and he was sniffing and we're like what is it otter what's going on here and we just saw a deer out here so we're like okay he's probably alerted by the deer and then um and then i heard a crackle like maybe like 20 30 feet away from me or something in like this thick brush and i stopped and i was like watching i was looking back and forth and then I saw it, and then I kind of moved a little bit more, and said it like, raised up, it was like this monster, and then it just took off running, and it was right by my brother. And I was like, Barnes, do your right, you know? I was like, oh man. And so we are getting out of the, out of the woods right now, and uh, we're really thankful it didn't attack us, because yeah, it probably would have killed one of us. Um, the thing was just a monster. It was just muscle, and yeah. So, yeah, whew. Thank you, Otter, because honestly, if we snuck up on it, it probably would have got us. But because Otter was here, he started barking and he smelt it. So, so thankful to have my dog with me and um, that me and my brother are safe because that, that, that is a dangerous situation. So be careful when you're out here because you can get killed by a bear if you're not careful. All right, we're going to head back and make sure no kids come out into the woods and or around them and we... Uh, Keep our eyes out and peeled for danger. Check out this bridge, you guys. Uh, so yesterday when I came in, I came over this bridge to find the spot, but I wanted to come back through and uh, go to a place where I have some cell phone service and check on some people and just kind of explore some spots for some YouTube adventures tomorrow. But I wanted to show you this. Check out this deer. It's just grazing on some delicious leaves and whatever. I like deer. Otter likes them too, huh buddy? You like the deer? So this is my mornings here at the lake, you guys, as I get up and I do my stretching and working out, go take a bath down there and then hang out with the puppies and play and wrestle. So I got up pretty early this morning, did a little workout, 
down on the rocks down there, stretching, push-ups, that kind of stuff. Took a shower in the cold, cold lake and feel good. So I'm about to pack up my little camp spot here and we're gonna head out and go into town a little bit where there's some service so I can check on my phone and everything that's going on online, respond to some messages, that kind of stuff. And then we're gonna take off and go into the mountains and maybe even shoot two YouTube videos excluding the one I'm shooting right now today. So let's hope I have enough battery and storage in my camera to make all this happen. Okay, so just pulled over inside of the road here, chilling for a second, taking in the view. Look at this, you guys. It's amazing because there's a bunch of trees that are submerged underwater. And then as the water level goes down, they pop out. And, but you can see them in here. It's super cool to look at. Let me zoom in for you. Just trees underwater. Look at the baby deer, you guys. Oh no! Oh no! He's stuck on the side. His mom's up there. They were out in the middle of the road. Oh, it's gonna make it. Gonna make it. Beautiful animals. I gotta say, some of these views of this river is just so awesome, man. It's the Clealum River and some of these bridges I'm driving over. So beautiful. Really enjoying this. All right guys, so Otter and I are back in the tiny home. We had a wonderful time, wonderful adventure over in Eastern Washington. I look forward to going over and exploring more of those areas and making lots more content for you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification next to the subscribe button. That will inform you when my latest and greatest videos come out. So thank you for that. And also I just wanna give a huge shout out and thanks to all my Patreons. Thank you guys for your loving support. It helps immensely. So thank you. I got a link to my Patreon account if you guys want to check that out in the description below. I also have a link to my children's books and that's in the description below as well. Lots more amazing content to come out you guys. I've got all kinds of stuff planned, all kinds of art, all kinds of adventure videos and tiny home videos and we're in the middle of shopping for a big ass truck right now that's going to be able to take this tiny home all over the place. My next video is going to be probably of me finishing the bed here that I'm building and um, and sanding and staining everything and making it look exquisite. We're just about done. We're just about there. So look out for a lot of amazing content coming out here soon because very realistically, we could be out in the tiny home at these beautiful places camping out for weeks at a time getting content versus just taking the Kia out once in a while kind of thing. So Big things are about to happen. Thanks so much for all the support, all the love, and feel free to share this video with some of your friends and family. See you next time on Will Brown Art. Bye. Pounce.